<laughs> Welcome to our existential crisis. Welcome. <laughs> okay, so we're doing... Are we calling it Alter's Try at this yeah, point? Yeah, this is going to be our Alter's Try segment of our Power Week. Welcome back to Power Week, <laughs> where we make a video every day of the week. Annually. Yes. <laughs> every year. This is a yearly thing. Yeah, and today we're doing Alter's Try, and we decided to try some recipes. So, we are going to cook a hamburger pizza, and instead of pizza sauce that has mustard. Uh, let's see. I don't think the others count as cooking. Yeah, I don't think so. Like, these are really simple recipes. And I gotta make sure this is recording. Yeah. Yeah, is it recording? <laughs> I'm not wearing glasses because I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna do a smoothie. And finally, the dirt cut. Yeah, and then also, we're going to be making some chocolates in the shape of succulents. We found this mold of Joann's on sale and we couldn't help ourselves. We may be doing Etsy orders at some point. You know, you order, we make them, send them out so they're fresh to you. That would be a lot of fun. It would be. I know why. <laughs> Well, that pork was from earlier, we didn't need that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's our first step? What are, what are we doing? Uh, we are doing pizza first. Okay, so we're already preheating the oven. Um, we need to cook the sausage. The whole thing of the sausage, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that seems about right. It's about one unit. <laughs> <laughs> one unit. <laughs> <laughs> about a unit of sausage, because this is how we measure things here in the apocalypse. <laughs> I don't think I introduced myself. My name is Diane. <laughs> <laughs> this is Axel. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to cook the sausage, and then we're going to place pizza shell, which apparently is just like a pre-made pizza crust. Like, they pictured like this shell that looks like, you know, you, you'd imagine like a pie, but this is the closest thing we could find at Fred Meyers, <laughs> and we're just going to make it work. Yeah. <laughs> What does the other side look like? Maybe we're supposed to use the other side. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know, guys. <laughs> this looks pretty flat. This looks like it's supposed to be this way. Yeah. Yeah. It's so textured. We're going to find out. <laughs> okay, we're going to make it work. <laughs> One unit of sausage. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, um, two cups of shredded mozzarella, which I think, yeah, here. Yep, two cups. Oh, that's perfect. And three, four shredded cheddar, which I went with Mexican style because I like the mixture better. Get all the cheeses. Gotta have many a cheese. And then it tells us to refrigerate the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave it out, you have to refrigerate this one. And we need half a cup of mustard. <laughs> it calls for half a cup of mustard. You just put it on the pizza, though. You don't. You can't measure it. Do you want to deviate from the recipe? <laughs> half a cup. <laughs> You're actually gonna pour it. Yes. We found. <laughs> So, it's a measuring cups, and I am going to pour half of a cup of mustard into this. And we so found because we're at my, my father's place. So, we don't know the kitchen that well until we move into our own place. End of the month, guys. Thank goodness. <laughs> God, this is cursed content. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on this. <laughs> That's a 
little bit more than that <laughs> cut, but I think it'll work. I thought we weren't gonna deviate from the recipe, Diane. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> I'm just squirting it on the pizza pan close enough. You can use a knife to spread it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we gotta put the mustard on the pizza. It's gonna be first. I'm gonna flip this around. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, put the mustard on the pizza. This would have been fun if we both would have gotten one and both done it. <laughs> also, these are the recipes for kids that were in that book that we mentioned on uh, Instagram, and I think we did it on YouTube uh, on our creators page or whatever. I'm pretty sure. Oh my God. I will remove the excess. <laughs> 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 so much mustard. It was one line above what it should have been. <laughs> I should have put the glasses on. <laughs> You're the wrong prescription. I feel like squirting it on the pizza would have been a little easy. <laughs> Although, isn't this more entertaining? It is. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> okay, I think this is about good. Yeah. Like spread it evenly now. Okay. Mmm, that's the next step. And we replace the cheese. Place all of the cheese. And then some more cheese after the, the sausage is, is cooked and everything. Sweet. So you sprinkle all this and you're gonna sprinkle all of that too. You can get that one. Okay. This is cursed. Why? Why did they have mustard for the sauce? I know, right? You <laughs> think they put ketchup? It's hamburger pizza. But no, the I guess the the books the book doesn't follow the American debate of mustard goes on hot dogs and, and uh, ketchup goes on pizza. Or pizza. <laughs> I guess uh, hamburgers. Yeah, they're just really going off the walls with these. Like, some of these recipes, they're just like, what? But others are just like, high quality. We're supposed to pour this entire thing on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said the F up. We're family friendly here. <laughs> family friendly content, TM. Absolutely. But this is still under the label of not for kids. <laughs> <laughs> the food may be for kids, but the content is not. <laughs> I feel like that's a perfect amount. I feel like that's so much. That's so much cheese. <laughs> Just oodles and oodles. <laughs> and while it's that. Oh my god, this is actually kind of ridiculous. Now that I'm putting my hands on it. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of cheese. And we still have this to put on it yet. Yeah. Maybe I'll just go with the nice, generous this bowl. And we're gonna put it over the sausage. So you put the sausage on, then we put that on. So that way oh. the sausage cooks in between the cheese. That's nice. Okay, so now we gotta cook the sausage. Yeah. Welcome to our curse event where we attempt to figure out my parents' uh, appliances. Oh yeah, it's turning around, it's working. <laughs> One unit. <laughs> it's kind of heated up a little bit already, so like, I'm gonna wash my hands again. It's probably like the most visually disorganized <laughs> cooking thing ever. <laughs> And this is fine. What was I getting? <laughs> do you need There's scissors? Some, I do need the scissors. Here's some quality scissors. Good. That whining is um, our stepmom's. I 
things to moms, aunts, dogs, or something. That's satisfying. A log. <laughs> a log. It's a sausage. This I've never seen one of these in my life before. What the hell is this? It's like kind of like hamburger. So I guess I'll just hack it up into bits. Yeah. Basically. I'm gonna smash it up some more. I'm just gonna pause this. Our family is home now, so you may hear some noise. It's fine. <laughs> They're fine. They're cool. We're all good. Okay, it is now cooked. I don't want to set this back down or else it'll start sizzling pretty loudly. So <laughs> we just like put this right on there. Yeah. On um, pizza. It's a lot of sausage. I feel like this, this uh, recipe was a little excessive with how much it asked for. Yeah, a little bit. How much cheese, how much mustard, all the sausage. Maybe it was for like a larger size. <laughs> maybe maybe they just misjudge how large the pizza shells are. <laughs> pizza shells. I didn't know they were called that. I just thought it was pre-made pizza crust. But then again, pizzas are pies. True. <laughs> That's, that's such, that's so weird. I hate it, I hate it so much. <laughs> People are just like, oh, pizzas are pies, and I'm just like, stop it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop there. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then you can pour the rest of the cheese over. I'm just going to create one layer over. <laughs> so three quarters of the cup. Do you really want a tea made for the recipe? <laughs> With the cheese? After how much I saw? After witnessing the mozzarella? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then the pickles. <laughs> I forgot to count out the 15 dill pickle slices. It, the recipe calls for 15. So I'm going to count out 15 pickle slices. I was just switching it over so you can do it over there. Oh no, I'm going to just stick my hand in the jar. <laughs> Not a COVID friendly household. <laughs> I've washed my hands more than once. <laughs> Curse content. <laughs> yeah, they're having us cook pickles onto the pizza. I don't know how that's gonna go. Six. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Excessive. <laughs> Fourteen. Hey, three. A little peep down at her. Our, uh... The boy. <laughs> He's a good, boy. a good boy. His name is Trigger, which I think is kind of hilarious. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. And then we put it in the oven for, I want to say, nine minutes. I think it was twelve? I mean, it has a timer on the thing, it's not a dumb stove. <laughs> the one at the apartment sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very faulty timer. But this is like a quality stove TM. Okay. Yeet. So it's in the oven. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out with the mustard. <laughs> okay, next craft. Just absolutely cursed content. This one is your baby. <laughs> yes. 
the one that we have been like adamant about. Like we gotta make the purple one. And one of our littles was just like, she saw it and was just like, that one. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> These. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Place yogurt, milk, grape juice, concentrate, and lemon juice in food processor or blender until smooth. Is this a quart? We're, we're very American here. <laughs> This bad boy. So it was this? Yeah. The whole thing? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this, I feel like this book is excessive with what it wants, but I am happy to give it what it wants. We're just like, oh, we're just like, all right. We, we bought the stuff for this video in specific, so. <laughs> All right, I can smell the pickles, like, very strongly from this pizza. <laughs> Come on, they, they smell so strong. <laughs> Pour this. Yes. I think we'll need a spoon. <laughs> Yogurt. Beautiful. Put everything into the thing, and then mix it up. Okay, how much milk? Just like one of these? Uh, one cup milk, I think. This is where it gets really weird. You see, they're asking us to put juice concentrate in there. <laughs> so I've got a can of thawed grape juice concentrate as requested by the recipe. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm committing a crime right now. <laughs> This is thank you. <laughs> and then there's some milk. <laughs> yeah, this is just barely fitting into the, the blender, but it's gonna be like perfect. And then it's asking for one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. Where was the lemon? Oh, okay. You got it. Yeah, at this point I'm just gonna eyeball this. <laughs> And a half teaspoons. Yeah. Then blend it. Let's see. Are you using Kinemaster to edit this? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Then we can take out the audio <laughs> of the blender. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to put the whole can of grape juice concentrate in there. I think so. One half cup. I think that's a half a cup. I think that's why we did that. Either way, we can't go back now. <laughs> I'm gonna get a cup. <laughs> My hands are just off to the side. All right, let's let's see if this is actually like okay. It looks good. First recipe from this book, TM. <laughs> Tastes good to me. I think maybe it should have been maybe it should have been frozen. So it tastes really good though. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Hmm. Just hitting our teeth. Hit self in teeth with cup. All right. Go well, back this way because we're gonna crush up some Oreos. Gotta make dinner and dessert. Crunch it, maybe. <laughs> Just 12 minutes of us struggling to crush some Oreos. <laughs> Life would be <laughs> Maybe this should have gone into the blender first. That's a really good idea! I think you can do those things! Oh my god, the pizza is done! Pizza time! Alright. 
We got uh, pizza. Alright, we got this cheeseburger pizza. <laughs> I just don't know what to make of the pickles. I do not know how they're going to be now. I'm interested, but intimidated. Should pickles go on pizza? That's the real question. Oh, now. <laughs> Put a pickle emoji in the comments if you think pickles belong on pizza. Because I feel like this is up there with pineapple. <laughs> Maybe way above pineapple. <laughs> this is just into the abomination territory of what are you doing with your life? This is like the, the strange Facebook life hacks, but worse. We got this cookbook at Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this was one of our childhood cookbooks. Was it? Oh, I think so. Maybe. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. And just so it each die. four ditches of dirt plate, two tablespoons of cookie crumbs. It doesn't tell you how to crush up the stuff. It just says crush them up. It doesn't even say that. So it just tells you... 14 Oreo TM chocolate sandwich cookies finely crushed. About one cup crumbs. One pint of chocolate ice cream. Chocolate syrup and gummy worms. But it doesn't tell you, do you like blend the ice cream and the Oreos together? Because that would make sense. Ooh, Let's do that. Yeah, that sounds good. We have... One pint of chocolate uh, fudge brownie ice cream. Fresh, fresh from Ben and Jerry's in the grocery aisle like two weeks ago. And we're gonna put it in the blender. <laughs> we're just putting everything in this blender. Yes, we're just putting everything in the blender. Welcome to our channel where we put things in the blender. <laughs> oh my God, this looks amazing. Yo. It's just that fresh Ben and Jerry's, man. It looks so good. Let's have brownies in it, and I'm excited about that. Oh, hell yeah. Maybe do the Oreos first and see where we stand. Okay. We are filming once again. Our camera died. I apologize, but we are doing an ice cream layer. And then we are going to do the dirt. We got the Oreos finely crushed by putting them in the blender. And we decided to do an ice cream layer. It's kind of like a cake. <laughs> it feels like such a throwback. Like, there was a restaurant when we were a kid that had a dessert like this. I think we only ever got it once. <laughs> it was like, so cool. What is it we were supposed to blend that with any of this? I mean, I feel like it should all be blended together. I don't know. I know, right? Just put it all in the blender. <laughs> we could. Physically, we could. You know, honestly, I'm thinking about it because you're struggling. Yeah, this is not very easy to spread. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's put everything in the blender. We're putting everything in the blender. <laughs> Into the blender it go. This might be more muddy than dirty. I don't know if it tells us how much. Vaguely whipped topping. Sounds about right. <laughs> I think it was for garnish, but we're just gonna put it in there anyway, so uh, let's just let's just do that. We'll make it smoother. <laughs> it doesn't give us very much direction, so I'm just like, I don't even know. I guess we're just supposed to know how to make dirt. I guess this is just leaving a lot of room for your imagination. <laughs> it is a just for kids book. Right. I mean, the hold on, the the. I'm gonna show you the cover here. It's a hot dog octopus on these cheesy shells with goldfish for garnish. That that's that's the type of recipes we're working with here. Yes. Yeah, Wild. But these were like the most sane. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is kind of sad because we have pizza. 
with exactly 15 pickle slices on it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hit this. Yep, do it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna eat those Oreos. This is like just liquid. It's mud. It's an ice cream treat. <laughs> Nice. It's a nice topping for the mud. Turn into mud so the dirt. I don't know what the ice was for. Yeah, it didn't say what we were supposed to do with it. Any of this, really. There's your pile of dirt. Beautiful. <laughs> These Oreos are caramel coconut. <laughs> oh, that's fancy. Yeah, we're getting extra up in this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> You're just crushing it with a bowl. That's iconic. I I am crushing the Oreos with this. Here, let me, let me demonstrate. Like that. Yeah, that'll work. Now we have our drink for our dinner and our dessert. Oh yeah. You gotta put uh, the gummy cre cre creations, creations, evens. <laughs> All right, I'm probably gonna. I'm just gonna trigger warning these gummy frogs because these are freaking weird. <laughs> It's like, they almost have like a skin. They're super creepy. And they've got gummy alligators. Or crocodiles, or whatever. Did not get gummy worms like normal people would have. I said there shall be frogs and alligators in the dirt. Yes. God, that smells weird. <laughs> Show them. Oh god, not not up close. Okay, I'm gonna show you and they kind of look interesting because they have a layer of like the regular gummy over this other type of gummy that's almost like a jelly. It's so weird. Skin. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a crime scene. <laughs> Frogs are having a meeting and the crocodiles are sleeping. <laughs> this is beautiful. I love this. Okay, time to try the pizza. I'm kind of afraid. Okay, you gotta cut a little bit of solid pieces. I am also afraid. <laughs> Fear the pizza. The Littles insisted that this was the first one you make. That one! Yeah. Okay. Alright, cheers. We gotta try the pizza. It's supposed to be a hamburger pizza. It's not terrible, but it's weird. It's not terrible. I think I would have liked more cheddar rather than the mozzarella. The mozzarella has a weird texture. No flavor to it. Yeah, it is weird mozzarella. 
What the heck, Kroger? I give it a 4 out of 7. Yeah? It's okay, but I don't think I prefer to eat it. <laughs> it's alright. I think there's too much cheese on this for my liking. There's too much mustard on this for my liking. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should do like mini versions next time. Yeah. Well. Okay, three out of ten. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the purple shape? I give it a seven out of ten. I feel like there should have been more, I don't know, um, mix, like not less of the juice. Concentrate. Where do you mind go? On the corner. Oh, we forgot the onion. Oops. Oh. Yeah, there was less grape. Mm-hmm. That'd be like perfect. It's a little too uh, strong, grape wise. Mm hmm. Could have been okay for just putting grape juice in this. Okay, and last but not least, let me show you. I think this is going to be a Patreon exclusive video. Ooh. So. We're going to make some uh, succulents with the chocolate, but I think that's going to be a Patreon video. Um, just because we did fun stuff here, you know, we want to give our patrons something to look forward to more than what we present on our main channel. Yeah, and we still feel really bad about not sending letters out <laughs> for two months, and so we want to make it up by putting some cool vids on there, we got some great ideas, and this could be really fun. Yeah, we'll post pictures when they're done so everyone can see them, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Everyone will be able to see them, but yeah, patrons just get to watch us make them, which will be fun. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Okay, let's try our dirt mud, which we're definitely not going to finish. That's so, sh so sugary. This is going to be like, this is going to get wrapped up and go in the freezer. It's like a two-day commitment here. <gasps> it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like that type of Oreo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the fancy Oreos really make this one. Mm -hmm. I give it an eight and a half out of ten. Yeah. Well, it's too sugary for my liking. <laughs> We're a sugar fiend. Like, we can handle ridiculous amounts of sugar, this is like good, but... That is a-okay. It's just a little too uh, rich for me, I think. I feel that. My stomach is just being in a real case <laughs> right now. I say eating more. Okay, well, that is it for uh, today's altered try. And we will be doing the chocolate molds in a Patreon exclusive video. Um, if you try this to do this pizza, try less cheese, maybe no mustard. <laughs> you you may want to try the ketchup instead of the mustard. <laughs> try try out some different ones on the mini pizzas like we didn't do today. But yeah, so um, if you try any of these, let us know how they go down in the comments because uh, yeah. We will post um, the recipes as they were written, but I'm telling you, there's not much there. It doesn't really tell you what to do, so you have to leave it up to your own devices. It is super cryptic, <laughs> super strange, but it produces results. <laughs> <laughs> we're not becoming true and true, I swear. Oh my god, I think we can go insane. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> Yeah, so this is, I guess, the reality of an Alters Try video. We're trying to cut out as little of this as we can, but a lot of it is just us staring at <laughs> things while things cook. <laughs> That's what we cut out. I'm like super dissociated right now because the Littles wanted to be part of this, but they're excited about the other video that we're doing. Um, I don't know if we're going to post it before or after this video, I can't remember. I don't know either. 
I don't know, we're doing a slime video, it's gonna be great. Um, you might have already seen it, just depending on when we post this one. Yeah, I forgot the order of the videos also. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure that out. <laughs> Alright guys, well, uh, thank you to our patrons who support us on our channel. Um, high five to all of you. That's all I have. <laughs> Alright, like and subscribe to become a goblin, and let's see. Yeah. I don't know what exactly we're doing in the description right now. Our links are a mess, but we've got some ones that are worth checking out. So, like always, we've got we've got details in our description, so those are definitely worth a read. That's all that I've got to say. Thank you for tuning in to Power Week, and stay tuned for another video tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and we will see you in, in the, the next video. video.